Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Brigitte from Vara Print and on this channel I give tips and inspiration for 3D printing fashion at home. Today we're going to be looking at a special technique that is not really that well known yet, which is a combination of sublimation and 3D printing, which means you can 3D print in full color with a cheap printer. Awesome! <laughs> Sublimation, quick overview. Sublimation is a way where you put special type of ink on top of a substrate, usually paper, when you then apply heat and pressure. So sublimation paper, new material where you want the ink to go on top of, and then you put a heat press on top. Hold it for about, I think usually it's like maybe 10 seconds at 180 degrees, something like that. And then once you lift the heat press off, you'll actually have your design on your t-shirt rather than on the paper. How is that different for 3D printing? Instead of sublimating and then using a heat press, you actually 3D print the shape onto the paper, which means that the nozzle and the heat of the nozzle is actually what will sublimate the ink from the paper to the design and overall room of sublimation so for example i quite often use the transparent filament just because it comes out really nicely we'll go in through the process in a sec but just to show it so all of these are printed with transparent filament and you can see this one i already took off where i take it off the sublimation paper is lighter so the ink has disappeared from the paper onto my print you can only do this once so once you've printed on top of it and you're taking the print off that's it you cannot reuse it because you will literally see where you already pulled it up once it's a lot lighter if i now were to do this exact same print with for example a gold filament then all of the pieces here that are now actually sort of white slash transparent would be gold because that is the lightest base color. If you want the full colors to come out absolutely properly as they're meant to be, you would want to use a white filament. If you want to go for a slightly more transparent vibe and a bit more of a softer and lighter experience, you go for a transparent filament. And then if you want to just kind of experiment with what is possible. For example, uh, some of the samples I did with gold filament turned out really pretty because there's a slight um, glitter in the filament. And so that came through even on where it sublimated black. So that was a really nice effect. So how do you do this yourself? Step one is to kind of build the build plate, uh, which just means make a PDF, which has the size of your build plate. Then secondly, you need to create an image outline. Make sure that it's slightly bigger than whatever image you're planning to make as a 3D model. And then you mask your image into the shape so that you have exactly the part of the image that you want. Then once you've got that all figured out, you can still swap it around a little bit. And then step four is to actually create this or save it as PDF. You can also use Word. I mean, Illustrator is one, Photoshop is another, whatever makes you feel comfortable. And then the next step is to actually get the sublimation paper from somewhere. I use Contrado, I've used them a couple times now. That is just because you can size it to whatever image size you want. So you can use a full 159 centimeters width and then you can set however high you want that to be and then you can cut it up yourself. If you're looking for a company to order the sublimation paper, look for textile transfer paper. I think you can use any paper from any company in order to do this. I've not had any issues ordering from different companies so far. The only thing that I've heard people do, which doesn't work, is to put sublimation paper into your own printer because it's both the ink and the paper that's special. Then the next step is export your design. I already put it onto the size of the build plate exactly where I want it, so that's why I'm exporting them all at once. So then when you put it on the build plate, it's already perfectly aligned. 
As for the settings, I'm using the print profile from Recreus. The only thing I changed is the layer height because this print is only 0.2 high. I'm doing 100% infill using the top bottom functionality of Cura and I set it to concentric just for aesthetic reasons. If your printer is already completely set up to print well, then the only thing you need to do is make sure that the BL touch sensor is setting the Z level on top of the sublimation paper so the sublimation paper gets taken along in where the zero of the build plate is. You don't actually need to change any of the other settings. You want to print slightly more closer to the build plate than you would normally just in order to get enough heat and pressure. So once you've got the 3D print off the sublimation paper, you can either use them as they are, and they're already pretty pretty, um, or you can actually iron them onto your t-shirt. And both of these methods, these are two different projects, I'll explain in a different video.